Hello and hi, welcome to Dina Shovet Danet, and welcome to Halacha of the Week, week number 55. Today's question which was addressed to the Chief Rabbi is, Rabbi, I wanted to know, I have a pumpkin seeds, I have garame avatiach, I have watermelon seeds. What is the blessing I make on such things? So, what would it be, why would it be such a difficulty? Because, you know, we have a rule. One rule is that anything which is a secondary to the fruit or to the vegetable, for instance, it's not the primary fruit, that's not the intended reason why it's being planted, that secondary has one degree lower status. For instance, if the primary fruit is ha'et, which is a very specific blessing, then the secondary would be ha'adama. If the food would be a ha'adama, which is a lower blessing than ha'et, then the secondary of the, that fruit would be shahakol. So maybe over here, the seeds are secondary, and you say shahakol. Or you can say that, look, the seeds are the source of trees. Being the source of the tree that you planted, this source, it could be ha'et, it's as if it's like the tree. So in such a scenario, what would you say? So the rabbi explains and says, look, there's different types of seeds. One type of seed is where if you look and you go to the store and you buy packs of sunflower, you buy packs of, uh, of uh, watermelon seeds, you buy packs of, bar of barbecued uh, cantaloupe seeds, or all these different types of seeds that are out there, all of these things were planted with the intention of using the, uh, the seeds and to process it. By all of those, definitely, without a doubt, you are saying, Bore peri adama. You are saying the blessing of Bore peri adama. So the only time this question would apply is if you buy a watermelon or you buy a cantaloupe or you buy a squash and you wanted to know what to do with the seeds. So our rabbis say that if you're taking the seeds and you wanted to eat them, non-process anything, it's shahakol 100%. Shahakol because it's automatically one degree, that's not the intention. However, the fact that you process the seeds and you cook them, you went through them and you actually turned them into an edible produce. That, uh, that needed some time on it, now the seeds are considered as ha'adama. And in all situations, when you have seeds, whether if it's sunflower, whether if it's uh, all the different colored seeds or flavored seeds or all these things, the blessing that you make for them is ha'adama. And the best time you should say it is, you take one seed, and you take out the little inside, you say, Baruch atah Hashem, Bore peri adama, and you eat the seed, very simple. Sometimes if you go and you say the blessing out the money and you go and you open it up, you see it's empty. So what do you do then? You say uh, you said a blessing by accident, and uh, you, you, it may be questionable to say another blessing. So you don't want to put yourself in such a situation. So in this case, by all seeds, you say adama. If it's not grown for the intended purpose and you wish to eat it non-processed, then you would say shahapo. Take care.